10 years ago, uh, my marriage was very abusive and I didn't recognize what was happening. To me, screening possibly the most important need because if you don't understand what's happening and you don't have a way of understanding it, then really you're waiting until an inevitable escalation before you start seeking help. Screening programs have been around for a number of decades, but the barriers to implementing those screening programs were quite numerous. Uh, in particular, providers don't feel comfortable asking those questions and they feel even less comfortable when a woman says, yes, I'm experiencing violence because they don't know what to do. So the Fracture Clinic brings to the table really committed providers and staff about the issue of partner violence. And what we bring to the table as researchers is a strong background in partner violence research, but we also bring to the table strong skills in implementation science. So we use those implementation science strategies to uh, build a team of both providers and then researchers to work together to create the screening program informed by ongoing data collection and monitoring. We really wanted a solution that was going to ensure privacy, it was going to ensure questions that were validated, um, evidence-based, ensure that there was a tracking system. We've been working very closely with the research team as we pilot into the clinics to ensure that we're working out the kinks. We want this to be a process that is just part of what we do in the Fracture Clinic. You know, we're always focused on their safety in hospital, whether they're outpatient, inpatient. It's a real focus for us, but we also need to care about what happens to them after they leave hospital. To be able to take something into your own hands, to have a little bit of control over, I'm going to assess my own level of safety or the level of safety for myself and my children. I feel a little bit more empowered to be able to plan for myself. And I think that's a really key piece. <laughs>